Hey there, Red Devils fans. We've got some thrilling updates for you. Please subscribe and turn on notification for daily Manchester United news updates. Manchester United wonder kid, Bendito Mantato continues to attract transfer interest after six academy goals. Man United youngster Bendito Mantato has been subject to transfer interest from a number of the Reds' league rivals. Manchester United youngster Bendito Mantato has continued to impress after scoring six goals in three games for the academy. The Manchester Evening News revealed last month that Mantato was generating interest, and the youngster was in the process of considering his options and possible next steps. Impressively, Mantato scored four goals against Blackburn in a 5-2 win for the under-18s, and he was on the score sheet again last weekend in a friendly for the under-21s. United made an academy trip to France over the weekend to give youngsters an overseas experience, and behind-closed-doors fixtures at AS Monaco and OGC Nice were arranged. The Young Reds won 2-1 against Monaco and Mantato scored a late match winner to win the friendly, with Amir Ibrahimov, another highly regarded talent, also scoring. Nice won 3-2 in their clash against United on Easter Monday, and Mantato scored again in that defeat. The youngster, who has bundles of pace, has been in prolific form, and it's thought his long-term future will be on the right wing due to the attacking quality he can provide. Mantato's superb goal-scoring form, six in three games, has impressed clubs, and he's continued to go from strength to strength after taking part in first-team training. His dribbling ability is a huge asset, and he's been backed to have a bright future at Old Trafford. It's understood talks are ongoing with United, and they're set to enter a crucial stage, with the club hopeful of striking an agreement to persuade the 16-year-old to commit to his future in Manchester after a string of excellent performances for the academy. A number of rivals in the Premier League remain interested in the exciting man Tato, and sources have indicated United would receive a six-figure sum in compensation if he were to switch clubs given they have been responsible for his development to this stage. Mantato can play at left back and on the wing, and his style has led to comparisons with Arsenal's Bukayo Saka, who started his career as a defender before moving forward. Mantato joined United's academy aged nine and has represented England in the youth system. He recently made his debut for the Three Lions under-16s team, again. What was once the game of the season not so long ago, Manchester United's trip to Chelsea on Thursday night is a mere sideshow to the unfolding drama of the title race. Eric Ten Hag's side sits sixth in the Premier League table ahead of visiting Mauricio Pochettino's 11th-placed Blues, with both sides wildly inconsistent of late. United followed up on a memorable FA Cup win over Liverpool with a drab display at Brentford on the weekend which saw them nonetheless grab what appeared to be a stopping time winner before quickly conceding a deserved leveler anyway. Meanwhile, Chelsea have been characterized not only by inconsistency between matches, but also within them. They almost escaped with a point against 10-man Burnley, underscoring their troubles. They must now overcome a dismal run of performances as they prepare to face the powerful Red Devils. The West Londoners were lucky to hold on to a point against 10-man Burnley last time out and must now look to end a poor run of results against the Red Devils. Malo Gusto and Ben Chilwell are doubts for the Blues, after the Frenchman went off with a hamstring issue against Burnley and Chilwell arrived back from England. Duty with a knock. Noni Madueke could be promoted from the bench, with Pochettino boasting few options to freshen up his side amid a boatload of injuries. United saw both Rafael Varane and Victor Lindelof substituted with issues during the draw with Brentford. Harry Maguire returned from injury off the bench. Mason Mount could earn a start after his goal in West London, while Johnny Evans is a further doubt, and Luke Shaw remains unavailable. Chelsea vs Manchester United prediction. Neither of these teams can be relied upon to show up, and yet both can be said to enjoy the big occasion. Most of the football pundits predicted that these teams could draw the match with 1-1. Write your response in the comments section down below. Head-to-head -head history and results. The Blues have not beaten United in the league since November 2017, when Alvaro Morata scored the second-half winner. Chelsea won, 55 games. Man Ut won, 83 games, draws, 56, again and again.
Manchester United make a formal offer to Southampton for Jason Wilcox as they look to X-Man City Man to mastermind their summer transfer revamp. But Saints are holding out for more money. Manchester United have made a formal offer to meet Jason Wilcox's buyout clause at Southampton in an attempt to ensure the director of football will be in place to mastermind this summer's transfer window at Old Trafford. Mail Sport has learned that United have agreed to pay Southampton 12 months of Wilcox's wages as compensation, but the championship club are understood to be holding out for a bigger package, and a deal has yet to be agreed. Wilcox has kept a low profile at Southampton since news of United's interest first emerged in February, but he has not been placed on formal gardening leave. The 52-year-old only joined the club last summer after spending 11 years working at Manchester City in various junior squads, with his last six years spent as academy director overseeing the development of stars such as Phil Foden, Rico Lewis, Oscar Bob, and Cole Palmer. United's pursuit of Wilcox is in danger of becoming their second acrimonious attempt to add to their recruitment team this summer, with Newcastle refusing to drop their demands for $20 million in compensation to secure the release of Dan Ashworth. Southampton are understood to be unhappy at the timing of United's approach, given the club are battling to secure promotion to the Premier League with eight games left. United feel they have acted professionally and respectfully in going through the formal channels to speak to Southampton about Wilcox, holding several weeks of talks before making a formal offer. The club viewed Wilcox as a key appointment who would work alongside Ashworth in the new recruitment structure being assembled by Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Sir Dave Brailsford. Given Newcastle's position, United have given up hope of securing Ashworth before the summer, so have made recruiting Wilcox their priority. Meanwhile, Manchester United's weakness has at least pointed them to their $47 million of pound solution to problem position. Man UTD were battered again at the weekend, but despite Brentford having 31 shots, they conceded only once at the G-Tech Community Stadium. When a goalkeeper moves to a new club, he will always be keen to make an impression and to have some work to do, but even Andre Onana must be getting a bit sick of this. In his last 11 games for his club, he has faced 237 shots at an average of 21.5 a game. It is a monstrous workload for a goalkeeper and one more akin to a team battling relegation than one trying to get back into the Champions League. Manchester United's hopes are fading on that front, but that they are still alive at all is due in large part to Onana, who has grown into his role as the club's new number one this season and is now one of the best players in Eric Ten Hag's team.